Hi and welcome back to the second part of our PowerPoint tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to give a presentation using Slide Lizard. To follow this tutorial, you must connect your presentation with Slide Lizard first. If you haven't done so already, please check out a tutorial video on how to activate Slide Lizard for your presentation. So after you've done that, go to the Slide Lizard tab in PowerPoint. Make sure that your slides are complete and that they are up to date before you continue. If the slides are not synced, you can see that here. Just click on the icon and your changes will be updated. So now the Slide Lizard Presenter view opens, which is, except for some additional options, quite like the one you used to from PowerPoint. On the bottom left, you can find your participation link, which your attendees need to connect to your presentation. Whenever you hover it, you can also see the password you've set for your presentation. If you want to show the link to your audience, just click on Show Participation Link. Your attendees then can either scan the QR code or they enter a whole link in the address bar of their browser. To hide the link again, just click once more. Next to the link, you can see how many people are currently participating in your presentation. This is also displayed in the presentation report afterwards. By clicking here, you can see who your participants are. You can send an email or a direct message to all of them. If you prepared any polls for your presentation, you can find them here. Just click on Start and your attendees will be able to vote. If you want to show the results of your poll to your audience, click on Show to Audience and the chart will be shown in your presentation. To close the voting, press Finish. You can always reopen questions in case some people weren't fast enough to answer. Here you can create spontaneous quick polls. The process is the same as for preparing a poll beforehand. During your presentation, people in the audience will have the opportunity to ask questions via Slide Lizard. It's up to them if they choose to log in or ask anonymously. However, if they are logged in, you have the possibility to answer their questions via email, even after the presentation has finished. When a new question arrives, you'll be notified here. If you want to answer a question, just click on it and it will be shown for everyone. After you answer a question, it will be marked so you can concentrate on the unanswered questions. Thanks for watching! If you want to know how to analyze your presentation using the Slide Lizard Presentation Report, you can click the link in the info box below.